In this video, we're just going to be going over linking applications internally. But before we do that, I'm going to grab some ports from each of these applications. So I'm going to click on Edit. And then you'll see here the port is 9696. I'm going to go ahead and copy that to a notepad that I already have. I already have the ports written down, as you can see. But I'm just making sure you guys understand how to do this. Is generally the first port that you see, main service port, right here. Just copy that, paste it into your notepad, and then the same thing for sonar because we are going to need these ports. This one's 8989. Cool, so since we have those written down, let's go ahead and open up the web portal for Prowler, Settings, Apps, Applications. And then let's add our first application, which is going to be Sonar. And then it wants us to add the Prowler server address. So I did HTTP colon forward slash forward slash space colon 9696. Okay, and then for Prowler... I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Come to the Licking Apps Internally script. Paste this down here twice. See it generated this for us. So I'm going to copy everything that's after the colon, excluding the space. Come back into Prowler. Highlight this white space and paste that in there. And just make sure there are no spaces in this. And we are using HTTP, not HTTPS. The next service we're going to be doing is Sonar. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Sonar's port was 8989. Come here, highlight this. And by the way, this is just exactly what you have your application name as. That's why we did exactly Prowler. That's why we did exactly Sonar. So if you have a different name here on your card, paste that twice in here instead. Click on Generate, copy that, paste that to this white space, make sure there's no spaces, and now we just need the API key for Sonar. So let's go back to our applications, click on the web portal, go to Settings, General, copy this, go back to Prowler, paste that in there, click Test, it's good to go, so go ahead and click on Save. Next, we'll just be doing one more thing, and that's just going to be adding CubitTorrent. Click on Download Clients, plus sign, CubitTorrent. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that name. Now it's asking for the host. That's our host name that we've been generating with this script. And since my name is exactly CubitTorrent for my application, I can go ahead and just co copy and paste that. Paste that in there, and then if you remember, our port number for CubitTorrent was not that, it was 10,095. Default username and password for CubitTorrent is admin, and then admin, admin. So admin once, then admin twice. Click test, We're good to go, click on save. And now these applications are linked internally.